Well, welcome back guys. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a catch and cook on the ice. Hopefully we're after some toothy critters today. If you guys know, that means pike. This lake has a lot of northern pike in it. And I was like, you know what, screw it. I don't have anything better to do. The bite's been kind of slow. So what's not better to go after than some pike? And uh, they're always usually pretty aggressive. Um, sometimes in the winter they kind of get a little finicky, but not too much. And uh, I'm hoping we can get some on the ice here. Today's video is sponsored by Mr. Taco Box here. Here we got the pro box for this month. And uh, we're gonna crack it open, see what she got in there. Oh, I already see some frostbite stuff, which is always pretty good. Here's some frostbite stuff. It's a one inch spike. Kind of mimics like a, like a spike, basically. It's white color. And here we got some Arnold Tackle um, little ice jigs. We could use these today. I'm not really certain if I'll be using them though. They're kind of small. Oh, here's something that would work. A 13 jigging spoon. I don't know if you guys can see that. The plastic and stuff is kind of glary, but this will freaking work today for sure. Um, oh God. Here's another thing, a lunker hunt. Uh, basically it's an airplane thing where it swoops side to side, very um, erratic and stuff. So they'll get Pike's attention pretty fast. Here we got a sick of freaking jig. This thing's big chungus. This will definitely get a Pike in. Um, so we got some pretty good stuff in here. We got some smaller tungstens and then we got some more jigs, stuff flying around. We got some more frostbite tungsten stuff right here. Um, box is flying everywhere. Uh, basically you get a box every month full of lures and uh, they're really juicy lures. As you guys can see, that thing was a pretty freaking good box, guys. And they're usually like that, too. So, I'm pretty hyped, and uh, you guys just stay tuned. And if you guys want to go cop yourself a box, link down below, like I said. I'm going to be tying on a lure here. But we're also going to be sending down a tip-up. For any of you pike anglers or walleye anglers, you guys kind of know what tip-ups are. For some of you guys that don't know what tip-ups are, I'll show you guys how to set them up and where to rig them and stuff like that. But uh, basically, I haven't been tip-up fishing in a long time. I only got one tip-up and I bummed this tip up off Aachen. So shout out to Isaac for this tip up. I found a transition of sand and grass and we're separate in the middle of that. I'm thinking what little panfish or whatever, little perchies, swimming through there. So we're gonna go set this tip up up and I'll bring you guys along and I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Alrighty, so we got our rods here. We don't need them. We need the Vex, the minnow bucket, and the tip up. I already drilled a hole for the tip up. It's about, yeah. 10 yards away probably from the ice shack so not bad basically what we're gonna do is send that down and we're in about seven and a half feet of water right here if you guys can see that basically all we got here usually you have like a steel leader or something but we're going after walleye so we don't have a steel leader on but we got this little jig here it should be big enough um basically all we're gonna do prop this up pull the flag all the way up this goes like that basically we're just gonna pull the line out and we got some split shots down there too. I don't know, we probably want to be a solid two feet off bottom because sometimes pike are suspended. How does that look? You want to put your tip up down like that, just like it would be set, and there we go. It's set at about a foot or so above bottom right now. We just want to reel her up just a tad. I like her a little bit higher. Well, that's what I'm liking. Um, basically, I'm gonna take this now and take our lovely, hmm, we need a big chungus minnow. They didn't have any shiners or anything. Usually you would use them. We didn't have any. All we're gonna do is hook her in front of the dorsal, not behind, in front, and that's how you hook her, get some good action out of them, and then you're just gonna drop your line back down. And then this is some more stronger line. I'm not really certain what it what it is, but and it's definitely strong enough. Maybe reel that up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm vibing with that. All right. Basically now, all you do is gotta set her like this. And that's all you gotta do. Just gonna close up the shot. We'll we'll do a full minnow on this one. We're going big or going home. Hook her right through the nose, just like that. And there we go. That's what we got. Big chungus lure, big chungus minnow. Not that big, I mean, but we're gonna drop her down. We're just gonna prop her up on the there. She's got a soft tip, so if anything does bite, I'll be able to tell. That's for dang sure. I want to use something on the chair. I don't know if I want to go with big chungus right away or this one. There's some. Little European rod that looked just like this. So I think this might be a good one, just because it kind of looks natural. But also, this is a, ah, I don't know, it's a tough choice. We're gonna try with the lunker, lunker hunt first. I don't know, do I wanna tip this one with a minnow head? I think we're just gonna send her down like that. And now it's just a waiting game for a pike to swim by before he sees the lure and he's like, ooh, bet, I want that, you know? Well, the first fish just came through and it wasn't a 
big pike, but it wasn't small. It's was probably around the 26, 28 range. It would have been a nice fish to eat, but uh, you know what? He got away. He did not want anything to do with the lures. I jigged it. I just let it sit there, and he just didn't want that smoke. But I guess we'll just stick this out for a little bit longer and see what happens. Oh, tip up, up, tip up, up. It's not spinning, man. What the heck is that strap, man? I don't know what that strap is. Let's see what happens, though. Probably nothing on there. We'll find out, though. Nothing. All right. And he marked my minnow. We need to get a new minnow. Tip up, tip up. Kidding. How did it get off, dude? What? Minnow's still on. It took out a lot of line. Just wow, boys. I don't even know what to say to that. Alrighty, guys. You guys haven't seen me in a while. It's been, I guess, yesterday we were out pike fishing. We didn't get anything. Now I got my good buddy Isaac over here. And uh, he is a pike god, actually. No. We got some tip-ups set up. We got two. We got three, actually, right there, as you guys can see. And I'm hoping we got suckers on there, or shiners, whatever you want to call them. And we're jigging in here. So hopefully we can get something to bite, but uh, you guys just stay tuned and we'll see if we can't get anything. Oh, yo, there's a tip-up up, bro. Yeah. Oh god, okay, um, turn this off. It's not spinning now, is it? No, let it sit until it starts spinning again. That's what I'm thinking. Just trying to be quiet, I guess. Man. How long do you think it's been up for? I don't know. I don't know, right? I think she just pick her up and try her? Or? What's your see? Because it might just be sitting on the right now. You think so, huh? Yeah. Just clapping them cheeks. Clapping them sucker cheeks. Probably a 40 incher. Probably the 40 incher, yeah. just munching her. Just gotta wait. Are you patience, serious? Patience Are you being serious right yeah, now? Bro, no, bro. Yes. <laughs> no, bro. Now he's gonna go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, he spit it out. He did not spit it out. We're spit checking it, it. We're checking it right now. Oh, it's ripping. There we go. We got him. No, we didn't. We missed him. Shoot. No, you sure have him. Do I? Yeah. He's not fighting. Oh, I do have him. Definitely have him. I definitely have him. Yeah, I told you. Look at that, Rick. <laughs> Rick. Three Let's go. Yeah. They're sliding little pike boys. Not bad. He's going to eat up well. He's, he's not big, but he's not small, you know? Good eater. Alrighty, guys. We're going to be doing a little catch and cook on this little guy on the ice. Like I promised. We're going to do. Um, well, we're going to dispatch buddy here in a second, but basically take a cut right behind the head here. Go about an inch down or so, but he's not that thick, so not too far down. And then we're just going to take her back up until this right here, and then that's going to be boneless. And then you're going to come along here, get the side piece, get the other side piece, and then you can come down here, right here, and go like this and get the tail in the other part. So, we're going to get some pretty good flays out of this bad boy, right? Hopefully. So, that's what we're going to be doing, and I will see you guys after. YouTube doesn't really like the whole bloody cleaning thing, as you guys already know. So, we're going to clean this bad boy, and I'll see you guys after we're done with that. Alright, you guys, we're going to start cooking here. We got our eggs. We just uh, got a nice little egg wash going on. And then we got our nice little gator meat. Oh, uh, we have We're saving the rest of the pike when we get home so we can actually like, clean it well. Basically, we just have the back, the back part of it and uh, the tail of it. Now we need to get the side the sides of it we're just gonna do that back at my house and then we're gonna eat that later but basically we're just gonna take your little uh our little guys here throw them in this little egg wash we got going on so all you gotta do we're just gonna let that sit in there for a little bit now and put that over there now we need to start the stove look at her she is ripping now boys that's what i'm talking about we're just gonna put our little pot on top of there there we go we need some canola oil we just got some canola oil Okay, we don't want to. We don't need a whole lot. We don't, we don't have too much fish. Basically, just cover the base of it. That's all you need. Next step, we got our bag of flour, 
Um, some other miscellaneous seasonings in there. I don't really know what's in there, do you? And uh, Akin, if you'd like to do the doings, basically it's just gonna crack open the bag, just like that. Like, dump it in there. There you go. Try not to make a mess. Yeah, I'm trying not to. That's perfect. There you go, lad. Ooh, that's minty. Oh god, yeah. You got the air pocket, and you're gonna shake her. Yes, sir. Yeah, give her a good shaking. Oh yeah, daddy. Shake it. All, shake, 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 shake it. There you go. Is that a Sensa commercial right there? Is that what that was? A what? The, the shake, shake, shake it thing. That you were just saying. That's like a Sensa commercial. A Sunset? You know, you know what that is? A what? Okay. I don't know what that is, but okay. Sorry. I think we're good. How do they look? Can you find them in there? Okay. Nope. Phew! <laughs> Alright, she's good. You guys want to know if your oil's hot or not? She's going to come down and take some of the flour. Sprinkle her in. Oh! <laughs> cheese and rice! Okay! God dang! We'll just move her to the side for a second. I think she's a little too hot. Maybe. Alright, we got our pieces here. We're just going to dump them in. Now, maybe that wasn't hot enough. She'll get, she'll get there, okay? That's, I'm not worried about that. Take a second for it to cool down, but. Let her cook for about two minutes until she's a little golden crispy, then we're gonna flip her. Same thing, take her off, and we're gonna mount down on some good old gator. Fish is done cooking. Eyes are not good. Take this off, turn it off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we got our lovely fish right here. Does that not look good? It does look good. I think we need to let them cool down for a little bit. Well, I know it's been all over the place this video. We went fishing, didn't catch anything. We caught something, we were cooking it, we cooked it on the ice, and then it ended. I know, I know, I've been struggling, and I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna blame Isaac because I don't have any other explanations or blaming the camera. Um, basically, what happened was we let the fish cool down for a little bit, and we turned off the camera, and then I thought Isaac hit record, but maybe he didn't, or maybe I didn't, I don't really remember what happened. But basically, we don't have the footage of us eating the fish, and that's my apologies, guys. I want to make it up to you guys, so uh, I'm going back down to Omaha tonight. I want to make it up to you guys, and you guys have been asking for Bonzo. Where's Bonzo at? Bonzo hasn't been on the channel forever. We want to see him. So if you guys want to watch the live stream with Bonzo, Bonzo and I will cook some fish and eat it for you guys for the live stream. And I feel bad because, you know, you guys were looking forward to maybe us eating. I don't really know if you guys like watching us eat or not. I don't know if you guys stick around for that part, but... I feel bad, so Bonzo and I are gonna do a little catch clean cook, or not catch clean cook, but we're gonna cook some fish and pheasant for you guys on a live stream here. I'm thinking either Wednesday or tomorrow, which would be Monday. So you guys just stay tuned for that, and to keep your eyes out for it. I think we'll probably do it around six or seven o'clock. But like I said guys, my apologies for not us having the clip of us eating fish. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.